Hello there everybody. Uh, a subscriber has asked me if I can show him how to make a ball and socket joint. Now I've had a bit play around with this and I think probably the best method is the one that I use to make this thing here. Uh, it's quite easy and this particular one you see the ball is captive in the socket. No doubt this can be made on a 3D printer. But of course the technique lends itself to making them open as well so you can just pop that in uh, to, the, to the socket. You have to devise a way of keeping the ball in the socket for that kind of uh, bone socket joint. But this one here, if you print it out um, all in one part, there's a very small clearance between the ball and the socket. Uh, it should work, I think. Be interesting to see if somebody uh, actually makes one from uh, this technique. So here goes how to do it. And the first thing we're going to do with this uh, ball and socket is to make the socket part. So we'll orientate our screen towards us. And the first thing we need is an axis. So with the snap to grid set, we'll just draw an axis down the, down the grid. And we're going to make the socket part using the sweep to, sweep and arc. And we'll make it two and a half diameter. We're going to Uh, no, we did that wrong. Press the wrong button. Clear that. Find the centre. Net two and a half. We tab it two and a half. Then move around. We want uh, 135 degrees. So this angle here is 45 degrees. Now we're gonna make this socket so that the ball is captive in it which I believe in 3D printing this will be able to be made as one part with the two parts with a small gap between now I'm not sure how, how small this gap can be but I'm going to make it quite small of course if you're going to make one yourself you can adjust the gap to suit the printing so that's the outside diameter of the socket. We'll now make the inside two inches. And that one is 135 also. We'll close off this end. And we'll put a line down here for the stem. I was not putting any dimension in this horizontal, so... Oh, that's why I can't see it it's down there. 0.25, yes. Trim tool. Trim that. And we'll put a nice generous radius on here. Now, to accommodate the stem on the ball, we'll need to move this by the radius of the stem on the ball to make it nice and parallel with the stem on the ball so we're going to use offset and we'll move it 0.25 trim corner and we'll put a, a little curve on this sharp corner here anything will do and there's the socket section 
Now we're going to do the ball part of the joint. Again, we're going to use the sweep arc and we're going to make the radius or diameter of the ball slightly smaller than the socket which was 2 inches diameter. So we're going to make that 1.99 tab. Now we've got to be careful we actually use the 1.99, there it is 1.99, so we click and then there we are, there's our now if we go in close we can see that right we've got a small clearance there. Okay. Now I want to start and do our stem. First we want a line from there. Right. Trim, and we're going to put a small radius in here because we don't want to clobber this corner too much, but we don't want a sharp corner in there, so we'll put a little radius in. 0.11 that'll do. So that's virtually it. Now we can use the pull tool, select that part, control click select that part as well, then rotate, select an axis, and then full pull, which will revolve 360 degrees. And there it is. And just to make it uh, nice and finish off the idea, that looks like the ball, rename that. And while we've got it selected, display. Uh, this is the colour for brass. I'll make it brass. Uh, brass. And then rename. Left click. Hello. It's a minute. Right here. There we are. Socket. And we can get rid of these curves. We don't need them. Delete. There it is. Now if we want to be cool about all this, we can select and that, that we see a see a centre line there. We can select the centre line up here. Selection mode, and now we can see a section in it, and that's our ball and socket. Then move ball, move that a bit, move it to the outside edge. Find the centre. And we can move it about. There you go. Magic. So I hope you all found that uh, interesting and useful. Uh, I'd like to see somebody make one of these, print it out, and see if it works. Bye for now. See you later.